Hi, I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to show you how to mark up and draw on web pages when you're using Google Chrome. Hi, I'm Ryan from Educate.me, and today I'm going to show you how to use a Chrome extension to mark up web pages when you're using Google Chrome or any of the Chrome based browsers such as the new Microsoft Edge, Vivaldi, Brave, etc. So to get started, we need to start up our browser and navigate to the extension we're going to use, which is called Web Paint. We're going to add it to Chrome using the big old Add to Chrome button. And it says it can read and change all data on the website you visit. Yes, because it needs to do that to write on the page. Now, if you see my other videos, as soon as you install an extension, it disappears from the toolbar. You have to click the puzzle piece, go down and find that extension, and then hit the pin, and then it'll show up on there. So we'll move this all the way to the left, and all I did was click and drag to bring that to the left. Now, when I go to a website, when I'm on a web page, and a scenario would be showing this, showing a website page or an activity to your class, you can click on the web paint icon and the toolbar pops up. Now all of these we can use, I'm just gonna change my color here because now I can draw with this box and I can draw a box around something. Now that size is pretty poor, so let's make it a little bit bigger. So, Moving the size up to about 30% seems to, let's move that up to 50 because reasons. Now I can draw a nice big box around something that I want to call out for the students to look at, to pay attention to. I can use other drawing tools. Um, once it's on the page though, you can't really do much to it. I can erase parts, I can erase it, but I have to erase parts of it. It actually puts the graphics onto the page in such a way that they're not entities that you can move around. See, I can't do anything with that. The brush with the in the square lets me erase everything. Now, the extension works pretty well. It only works on web pages within the browser. You notice when I'm drawing this box see it's the cross as soon as I move outside of the browser window the inside of the browser window I can't draw on this anymore so this is kind of limited in that respect at that it only works when you're within the browser window but other than that it works pretty well I can add text look at this I can draw arrows to things I can draw lines, but each one of these is, once you're done drawing, you can't do anything with it. So while the tools are, <laughs> don't know what you're gonna use this one for, but it makes cool lines. Um, you're probably going to use the square tool, text tool, and the arrow tool the most, because those are the ones that let you pull out information that you really want to want your students to pay attention to. Um, there is an undo, so you can always undo. You notice my text there for Y was a little high, so I can undo that and move it down. And once you're done with your masterpiece, if this is something that you want to save for later, there's a camera tool that pops it off and now it's a picture. And you notice the URL changed and opened up in a new tab. See, there's the previous tab. So now I have a picture. I can copy it to the clipboard, which means it works in places like Gmail. So I can mark up a page and email it to them. You cannot paste it into an announcement though on Google Classroom. For that, you would have to download it and it downloads it and then that I can put into 
Google Classroom. So it's not as nice in Google Classroom as it is in other places, but it's possible to be used there. You can paste directly into Google Docs though. So. so that is basically everything that it can do. So that is the web paint extension. It's really cool when you need something just marked up really quickly and it, you can always have it available in Google Chrome. That's it for this week. Like this video if you like it and be sure to check out my site over at educate.me. Stay classy.